Okay, this unboxing is quite a stack of books from Publisher Spotlight. Um, and so these are all books from, um, usually from publishers from um, around the world. Okay, let's get started. The first one is Britannica's Five Minute Really True Stories for Family Time. 30 Amazing Stories featuring baby dinosaurs, helpful dogs, playground science. So it's basically taking Encyclopedia Britannica, it looks like, and turning them into little stories. Um, so it's, I guess it's perfect for um, bedtime. You know, like instead of reading like mythology, you know, I, I used to read my kids a lot of like folk, folk stories, folk tales um, from around the world. Um, that were presented in short stories. This is just really more like informational, but I think it's good, good concept. The next one is also by Britannica Books and is Return to Factopia. More Follow the Trail of 400 Facts. This is by Kate Hale, illustrated by Andy Smith. And so one such fact is at night, giraffes quietly hum to one another. So it looks like it takes one fact and it might show how everything is connected. So let's just look at this page. Bees can sometimes make honey without flower nectar. Some bees in France made honey after eating pieces of M&Ms and the honey was blue and green. And then they connect it. So this was sort of in present time to honey found in ancient tombs in Egypt that was still edible. And then if you want to dig some more, you turn the page and it connects you to, um, you know, ancient Egypt's burial practices about pet cats and then a contemporary cat. So it's really just, it's, it's interesting. It's kind of like one degree of separation from the past to the present. I, you know, anyone who likes um, National Geographic Kids, um, you know, those uh, fact books, which you know we were obsessed with, this would be a great um, addition because kids would like that. Kids who like those encyclopedia um, or um, National, Geographic, National Geographic Kids, uh, what is it, like true, like weird facts or true but weird, uh, and, uh, that series. Oh, uh, that would be a great addition. Okay, so let's move on to some picture books. This is Through the Forest by Yi Jing Li. And it looks like there's like a storm in the forest. And here's like a little person. And wintry, because look at the um, scarf. Lost and alone, a young boy enters the forest not knowing the path that lies before him. He meets a figure called Emptiness, who guides him on his way. Together they find keepsakes deep in the forest that trigger memories both good and bad. Oh, it sounds like a story about grief. As he moves closer to the sun-filled meadow on the other side of the forest, the boy learns that to be truly happy, he must embrace his past. A powerful tale about the importance of memories in the winding journey of life. All right, so let's just flip through it. Well, at least this emptiness, you know, he's kind, you know? And it isn't, you know, as traumatizing as I would be worried about. Oh, so this is like a sad memory. So happy and sad memories. It sounds like a, a really good story, um, too, for kids who are um, in therapy, just learning how to confront um, memories, both good and bad. Um, the next one is My Must Have Mom by Maudi Smith, illustrated by Jen Cotton. And... I'm always looking for characters in wheelchairs, so this one has one on the cover, so I'll add that one to my list. And, you know, she looks very prepared with, like, an umbrella. You know, it looks very happy. 
So Jake's mom is not like most moms. Say there's a dumpster in the street. Most moms will pass right by it, but not Jake's mom. Um, she's a must-have mom. Um, so I don't know if it's about being a dumpster diver or just being someone who likes to collect stuff. Oh, so maybe, maybe she just is like a dumpster diver. Or is she in a wheelchair? And also about upcycling and turning, yeah, no, she is in a wheelchair. Um, turning trash into treasure. So I don't know, it could be, it could be many things. Um, so it looks like it's a story about the little boy growing up and also um, I don't know he has a really can-do mom who rescues things so I don't know it looks it looks like a good story for Mother's Day actually all right, one more. And I'll, I'll do a second one to get the rest of these books, or maybe even a third. This is a Junior Library Guild Gold Standard Selection, so that's that's a very high review. The Depth of the Lake and the Height of the Sky by Kim G. Hewen. It's really beautifully illustrated, isn't it? Like there's so much drama. It looks like watercolor. I, I really love watercolor illustrations. It's summertime and a boy and his dog are leaving behind their apartment in the busy city. His grandparents' home in the countryside feels like a different world. From the window, the curious boy sees a path leading enticingly into the forest he can't wait to explore. So I don't know if it's a wordless picture book. <sighs> it is. And a really gorgeous one. Oh my goodness. I feel like, um, I know maybe that's a different person. I feel like there were, I, let's see, what other books has she written? Oh, this is her first picture book. Okay. There's another, there's some really beautiful wordless picture books, um, from Korean illustrators and authors. And it reminds me of, um, The Pool. I thought it was the same person, but it, it isn't. But, I don't know, spectacular. I think wordless um, picture books, um, you know, they have to do so much because it's just, you know, the images. And when they can nail a whole storyline just from the pictures, it's, you know, I think it's just a remarkable feat. And this just looks, this just looks incredible. Like she is insanely talented. And so it tells a story about just how a kid's exploring the natural world and full of wonder and delight, a celebration of nature, perfect for kids who go on summer vacation to visit family in the countryside. It looks great for um, Earth Day and just in general to read a story and find the story from the pictures. My kids used to always like to like kind of say what they think the story is from the pictures and I used to like write it at the bottom so we actually put our own words in um, and that was fun to read years later. Um, okay so thank you to Publisher Spotlight and um, I'll continue um, with part two.